Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. If you remember, maybe, about uh, five days ago, maybe like six days ago, it was uh, former president of uh, and prime minister of the Russian Federation, Dmitry Medvedev, who stated that if the Ukrainians are hitting Crimea, uh, that's like uh, the day of doom or you know it's gonna be the end of the world for them and they will have no place to hide that means they're gonna just destroy them like it's the end of the war for Ukraine well it happened and I was waiting for I was not waiting for it but I knew the Ukrainians will do that because the Ukrainians were you know saying all kind of people from the West retired generals uh, you know politicians yeah Ukraine Ukraine should uh, has the right to hit Crimea and why not and even Russian territories so I said that is emboldened the Ukrainians and not only that uh, <clears throat> that was in the talks so people talked uh, talked about it so the Russians knew and they, they again gave a warning now from my perspective as I stated before I don't see why the Ukrainians could not or should not hit the enemy territory when your territory is hit I think it's only uh, you know fair game or how fair play fair game and um, including the fact that they do not recognize Crimea as being part of Russia so then it's disputed from the eyes of uh, it would uh, Ukrainians it would be different if they Ukrainians would start bombing I don't know uh, uh, Moscow even though the Russians bombed Kiev so again reciprocity I don't see any anything I don't say wrong but you punch me and I'm not supposed to punch you back and who said I should match your strength of your punch I punch however I can and I want so the same I'm waiting now and I said that in my video that I posted regarding Medvedev claiming that I, I said I know I know I, I predicted and I think it was not a big oh my god uh, big wizard Emil found out uh, that they're gonna do it it was obvious they will do it because they started talking about it you know that uh, saying there's no smoke without fire the same here if they talk about it they're planning or you know they're just getting get you, getting you ready for that which has happened what I was waiting to see now Russia now what because if you don't do anything you show weakness and everybody's gonna be ridiculing you uh, including <clears throat> some people who are okay now you said it now let's see what you're gonna do unfortunately but uh, let's see what this article talks about so this article comes from article comes from Reuters from July 31st 2022 Ukraine attacks Russian Black Sea Fleet headquarters authorities where well, the black it's in Sevastopol which is the capital the main city of uh, the Crimean Peninsula so yeah <laughs> they didn't go straight uh, headquarters okay and uh, let's read about it Ukrainian forces truck struck the headquarters of Russians Black Sea Fleet in Ukrainian held Sevastopol early on Sunday today that's according to the Crimean port city's governor Sevastopol's governor Mikhail Ro Razoznev told Reuters six people were wounded in the attack when uh, when what was presumed to be a drone flew into the courtyard of the headquarters now I have another article here that confirms uh, it says here from the Reuters this is from 2 14 a.m. Russian official says Ukraine carried out drone attack on Black Sea Fleet so that was the Black Sea Fleet headquarters so it says here that a senior official oh, in Russian annexed Crimea accused Ukraine on Sunday of carrying out a drone attack ahead of planned celebra celebrations to mark Navy Day injured fight and force forcing the cancellation of festivities the accusation comes hours before Russian President Vladimir Putin is due to oversee Navy Day celebrations in his hometown of St. Petersburg and approve Russia's naval doctrine as Moscow presses on with its military intervention in Ukraine an unidentified object flew into the courtyard of the fleet's headquarters Mikhail Razoznaev governor of Sevastopol's home to Russia's Black Sea Fleet wrote on a telegram messaging app according to preliminary information it is a drone he said Ukraine has decided to spoil Navy days for us well pff, <laughs> I think they're all crying now they feel guilty about it all celebrations are, are uh, cancelled it says that 
they're going to go with a little bit of history however they want it portrayed here with uh, Crimea uh, obviously they ignored uh, any um, uh, referendum in Crimea in order uh, the results they just say they annexed it like it come, came and grabbed it they don't don't say anything about historical uh, facts about Crimea belonging to <coughs> someone else than uh, Ukraine and who gave it to Ukraine and all that it's just uh, you know they don't want to go that far their chronology starts starts and ends it's just this is the chronology the, the whole thing from here to here they just speak from here then then from here to here then they hear from here from here ignoring everything else it would contradict their uh, statement that that's how we all do and we all did in our lives at one point I guarantee you that unless we're just tards and we don't understand what's going on and you know because you know people are not uh, people have interest and have agenda nevertheless let's go to this one now if this happened Point one, uh, Sevastopol is a civilian, right, city, it was not a port, it was the headquarters, you say, okay, headquarters is a military, uh, even though it's, yeah, you can say it's a command, right, M uh, position, then uh, you have that in the Crimean Peninsula, right, that's uh, Russian territory according to the Russians, so that's going to be, I'm waiting for an answer, what do you think the answer is going to be? Now, as I said, if I don't see an answer and pointed, like, someone an official a russian official comes forward and say all right guys uh crimea was hit we're gonna retaliate in kind and even like three times uh, harder that's how we should be you punch three times harder or two times harder if you're punched one time you punch two or three times <laughs> why should you match their uh, their their force and then um that's why i expect them to come and say and the retaliation will be swift and blah blah blah, 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 blah. okay and then i want to see that otherwise as i said you either can't because that's how people will take it even if they don't come and say they're going to point out hey remember medvedev ha 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 that means you can't now then you don't want you can't and then the russians have to live up to uh, their promises because when you do when you draw a red line or a line of sand it's always bad if you can't fulfill that like barack obama did a few times and uh, nothing happened and then he was called weak i think it was with iran so here um, what are they gonna do they're gonna hit kiev maybe they're gonna hit a few centers of control in kiev that we're not gonna ever hear about it because that's the way things go a lot of things happen uh, happen that we don't hear of obviously important things let's say right now we find out that uh, uh, the military headquarters of uh, uh, ukrainian army it was blown up by the russians or whomever do you think we're gonna hear about it mm -mm. maybe we're gonna hear it in about two or three weeks but not now they have to figure out how they will you know you're gonna hear it by the russians but how is that gonna be pick up, picked up do you think that reuters is gonna pick pick that story up and give it to us <laughs> they will be immediately checked by some people with badges and uh, glasses and uh, you know what i mean so we find out i'm waiting for the russian response and they say it's gonna be the end of the okay i want to see that not that i want to oh my god let's see how is how they're gonna destroy these guys no but you know keep your promises thank you otherwise you're gonna be considered as weak thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just